Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a virtual machine in VirtualBox using an ISO image. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a valid ISO image of the VM and it is accessible from your computer. The best option is to download or copy the ISO image onto your computer. For the purpose of this video, I already have an image saved in my download folder. So that's the ISO image which I have downloaded, which I will use to create the VM. So in order to create the VM, we need to launch VirtualBox application. Just type the VirtualBox in the search box on the taskbar or just click on the shortcut if you have got one on your desktop. So I'm just going to click it. In here you will see a couple of options since we are creating a new VM. So we'll just click on the new VM. I'm going to put a name as demo VM. Since this is Windows 7 64 bit image. So I'm going to select that as well. So if I click next here, it will automatically recommend me some memory which is sufficient for this ISO image. So I'm just going to select the default one. Click the next button. Now it will ask you to if you want to create a virtual hard disk. So I'm just going to go with create a virtual hard disk now and just click on create. In the next screen, there are a couple of options, whether you want to create a VDI image, which is the virtual box disk image, or it, if it is VHD, which is virtual hard disk, or VMDK, virtual machine disk. So I'm just going to go by the default VDI. If I click on the next button, now it is asking me to choose between dynamically allocated hard disk or a fixed size hard disk. A dynamically allocated hard disk will use the space as it fills up. So as soon as you start creating files or installing the operating system or installing the software, it will start increasing the hard disk space based on your need. If it is a fixed size, then you need to specify the size. So I'm just going to go for the first option. Then it will give me a default location for the file. I'm going to select that and 32 GB is the hard disk space. So I'm going to go with that as well. Okay, now our VM skeleton is almost created. So we can actually start it. In fact, let me start it and see what happens. Obviously, there is no operating system and there is only one hard disk. So if I just say start even, it will fail with something. See, it says no bootable medium found because we haven't installed any operating system yet. So what we need to do is go to devices, click on optical devices and select choose a disk file. In here you click on your ISO image, select open and then just close this window. Just say power of the machine. And now if I click on the start button again, since I have selected the ISO image, it will try to boot it up from there. 
So let us see what happens this time. So now it has picked up the file. Let me close this. So it has picked up the ISO image. Now it is trying to install that. Okay, now it asks me what language do you want to install? So obviously I'm gonna pick English. And then if I select the English United Kingdom, click on the next button and install now. So just accept the license terms, click on next. Since we are installing a new copy, so I'm gonna select install a new copy of the windows. And it is by default picking up the disk zero on this VM. So I'm gonna go select next. Now it is trying to start copying files or expanding the zip file. Since this is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna skip the video until this step is complete. So the files are almost extracted. It is installing features now, checking for updates and installing updates. Okay, depending on the ISO image you choose, it may restart a couple of times. So this VM is gonna restart. So as you can see on there now, because there was a disk image in the optical drive. So it is asking for whether you want to boot it from there. Since we didn't press any key, so it did boot up from the virtual disk but I will show you how to remove that optical disk later in this video. So it is just completing the installation. It's going to take some time so I'm going to skip the video until the step is complete. So as I said before it may restart a couple of times. So OS has been installed on the virtual hard disk. So it is just starting the windows now. Okay, type just any name here. I will just say demo here. Just gonna not put any password. So I'm just gonna let it go. Just type the product key. So this process may take some time. Okay, now it has come back from the verification of the key. So I'm just gonna go to the next step. Just gonna use the use recommended settings. I'm just gonna click next here. I'm gonna select the home network and it will take some time to connect to your network. It has done that. Now Windows is finalizing the settings and it should start up very soon. It is almost there. As you can see, now we get the start button on Windows 7. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna shut down this. And I'm gonna show you how to disable that optical drive which I discussed earlier. So if in here, actually, if you go to the storage, you just 
click on it and just say remove from virtual drive now if you click on the start this time it will not ask you to boot from cd drive it will straight away go into the hard disk drive and boot it from there so see there was no message this time and it is just booting up from the virtual hard disk and it has booted up successfully so here is your new vm we created from iso image i hope it is helpful thanks for watching